All right, so if you add LEDs to your vehicle and it didn't come with them stock, you will probably experience hyper flashing with your turn signals. That is, you turn on the turn signal and it just flashes really fast on one side. And this is because the LEDs, if I, uh, if I am correct, have a different and lower resistance than the old bulbs that came out. So that triggers the car to think that your turn signal bulb is out. So to solve this, you can do two things. You can put in a resistor at each light that will cause the hyper flashing to stop. Or you can do what I did. I planned on replacing all the uh, turn signal lights in this truck with LEDs, so I went out and I purchased an LED compatible flasher relay. This, uh, this model is a Trident EP27, I believe. It's available at Advance for under $10. And so this is going to be a quick video on how that uh, functions. So we're looking at the pedals down here because in a minute we're going to stick our head up underneath the steering wheel here and see the flasher and just see what's going on. So if you don't know where your flasher is, the easiest or the, where the relay is, the easiest way to find it's going to be to just turn on the flashers and see where the clicking's coming from. And also I believe on the newer trucks this is controlled by some type of module and it's not actually a physical relay so you'll definitely want to uh, do some research on your particular situation. So I've got the uh, four ways on and we can hear the clicking and we're going to stick our head and the camera on a flashlight underneath the steering wheel here and see what there is to look at. Alright, we are uh, we got our head up underneath here and you can see that this is where the uh, flashing is coming from. So this is going to be our relay and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so it doesn't get annoying. Now you can see uh, here in this truck it's pretty easy to see there's a blue pigtail going into the relay which says Novita on it. I might have misspoke. It might be a Novita EP27, but either way it's an LED compatible flasher. And so basically all I did is I pulled out the old one, used some double-sided tape to re-stick it, to re-stick the new one where the old one was. I was even able to double-sided tape the little mounting plastic thing to the new flasher. And I unplugged the old one and plugged the new one in. And so that prevents hyper flashing on the vehicle. So basically I know this is a pretty uh, pretty rough, quick and dirty video, but hopefully it's helped somebody if you're experiencing hyper flashing or curious as to what it is or how to fix it. Uh, again, I chose to go with the relay replacement route over the resistor route because I didn't want to cut into the factory wires and I also was not, uh, not excited about having to put one in line with every light, whereas this one, um, relay here covers all your lights so like I've got the front switchbacks on and I'm gonna put back LED signals on it at some point and so that will uh, have that covered as well one thing I have noticed though is that sometimes and this might be because right now I've got halogen back flashers and LEDs on the front is that it kind of speeds up and slows down a little bit like you won't notice it if you're uh, not paying attention but if you listen you can hear that the clicking spe specifically on the turn signals sometimes goes a little faster and then it'll slow down but I think that's just because of the different resistances on the halogens and the LEDs and so hopefully that'll that'll get fixed when I put LEDs in the rear so hope this video has been helpful to somebody thanks for watching and uh, <laughs> let me know what you think